week for you. The King Super strike is over, but there is a question over when the workers are to return. The union says a week after ratification, which was yesterday. But the company says no, it's a week from the tentative agreement, which was last Friday. CBS 4's Rick Sounder live outside at King Super Store in Edgewater tonight. So they are trying to fill those shelves, Rick. Well, Karen, there seems to be several factors at work here. There is the supply chain, the snow, and, of course, this just-ended 10-day strike. The picket line's gone. The contract ratified. But the union president, Kim Cordova, says it may be a while for the hard feelings to go away. There's going to have to be a healing process. They feel very um, betrayed by their employer. Customers returning to the stores may find some of the shelves bare. At this King Supers, they were busy restocking. Still, no Swanson turkey TV dinners. But yes, they have bananas today. Like earlier today, I did an order. They wanted mangoes, but there are no mangoes in there. The union says the empty shelves are due to a lack of employees. But King Supers president Joe Kelly blames it on supply chain issues. We have a full fleet of trucks going to all of our stores between today and tomorrow. So I think it will continue to fill up over the next 24 to 48 hours. In all fairness, we checked at Safeway, and there were some empty spaces too. And speaking of Safeway, it also has a contract coming up. When is the contract expiration? And might we see the same thing happen with Safeway? Uh, yeah, it could happen. I mean, the company, unfortunately, was Safeway. They also came to the table with unwarranted concessions. Shoppers could again be left holding the bag. It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, after all, these guys got what they needed, so hopefully they can get what they need. Regarding those bare shells, we asked the president of King Supers if the trucks carrying all the goods honored the picket lines. He said in some cases they did, but they had a way around it. They would have the trucks deliver the items to a separate location and have a third party bring the goods in. Live in Edgewater, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.